everybody. It's Melissa from Buckeye Girls Raising Things. We're going to make a Thanksgiving dinner in a crock pot. You are not going to be you're going to be surprised at what I do. One pot meal at its best in a crock pot and we're going to have it all done with with no mess. Here's our crock pot with the crock pot liner. First, we're going to add in. I don't know if you've ever seen these. I found the recipe, and uh, the recipe that sparked my interest was when I seen somebody do this with two chicken breasts, and I'm like, I bet you could do this with turkey for Thanksgiving. This is a honeysuckle white turkey loin. And it says it has it's an it's six servings. I would say it might serve be enough for three people. Cause you know Thad. Thad likes Thad uh, Thad 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 likes to eat. This is turkey loin. So we first put that in there. This is one can of of uh, chicken, cream of chicken. We're gonna pour that over our um, our turkey loin. We'll just make sure that goes nice and over the turkey line. And then to that, I'm adding one box of stove top. Since it, it'll probably be just me and Thad this year, this may be how I do my Thanksgiving. I'm Doing a test run to see how it how it works. I don't know how. This is four cups of melted butter. To that. And then I'm going to add. Some onion, about a, about a cup of onion. Mine's pre-cut up because I've already put them in bags. These were from our garden. They were white and red onions from the garden. Then I'm going to add a cup and a half of chicken broth. And then one stalk of celery. And that is going to be, and kind of mix it around. This is going to be the, the chicken and the turkey and the stuffing portion. But no, I'm not done. Now I learned something I didn't know. You can take a pack of tin foil, a piece of tin foil, and make pa the make make. I hope I made it big enough. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to make it bigger. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Now. 
add some carrots. You can actually steam your vegetables on tin foil on top of your crock pot. So if you want to do broccoli, carrots, um, I don't know what I did with my honey. Oh honey, what did I do with my honey? There it is. I'm going to make this into a packet and seal the ends first. And then I'm going to add butter. These three tablespoons of butter I'm going to cut up in my packet. And I'm going to add I don't use salt. I never I haven't used salt since 2002. I haven't used salt on any of my food. I like to use herbs because my my dad had kidney problems and was no salt. So on this I'm going to use some Mrs. Dash. And oh honey. We're going to add 3 taste teaspoons of honey to make these glazed carrots. Honey glazed carrots. So I'll have turkey stuffing, honey glazed carrots, all out of one pot. But we're not going to tell anybody how easy this is because we want we want to make Thad think I slaved away. We don't want to tell him no secrets. We ain't going to tell him no secrets. Just bunch that up and I'm going to lay that on top of my slow cooker and I'm going to cook this. For the lap for for eight hours on low, but the la very last hour before it gets done, I'm going to set my timer and I will take this lid off because I like my dressing to be drier and ha be a little bit crunchy. I like the hard edges on my dressing. So I'm going to, the last hour, I'll take that lid off and let that mo make it so it's not so moist. Okay, let's see what everybody's doing. Okay, this is our end result in our crock pot Thanksgiving. The turkey loin, the dressing, and the carrots steamed. Actually, to my surprise, the carrots were steamed to perfection. The turkey loin was very good also, but the only thing is the dressing was a little mushy. But it wasn't bad for a one-pot Thanksgiving. Give it a try. Please like and subscribe for more cooking recipes.